What up, what up, what up? This is MTG Bros. We're back with one of you guys' favorite. It is a mystery cube time. There we go. Lots and lots of cubes. So I uh, want to give a special shout out to our other MTG bro, Mr. Foil. He picked these up for us to donate to the channel. He's going to be opening up a bunch too. Um, I think these go for like 20 bucks. This big daddy is $30. This is the latest and greatest one. So I'm not seeing a lot of these cubes in stores anymore. People pick them up pretty quick. And I want to show you guys what kind of packs are giving in there right now. It could be some good stuff, it could be some junk, you don't know. That's why they're mystery. So here we are, we have six of these, that's like 120, it's like $150 in cubes, at least, you know. So it's a good amount, it'll let you know what you can get. So they're showing the Ixalan and the Guilds in this one. Looks like there's a deck in there, kind of thick. There's the hours and something else in here hiding behind there. So it's got a pack in there. Let's see, this one's Rivals and the Innistrad. Cool. And we've got Dominaria. Nice. Haven't seen that. Looks like a Guild. Innistrad. Core 2019. Ixalan. And Guilds again. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like we got Core, maybe two Cores. And the Dragon Queen. Can't focus that well, but I will pull that out. Let's see if there's promos in here. Let's see. So the interesting thing with these cubes are is actually over time, they might go up in value simply because they might contain packs that are going up in value. Let's say like hours, hours or um, almond cat. That stuff was like junk back in the day. You could buy booster boxes like less than 90 bucks. And then now, they're going for $140, $150. It's, it's craziness. Let's see what deck we got. Is this any good? True Fire Captain. Okay. Hmm. Maybe from a deck builders or something? This doesn't look that good. Alright, storage cube. Let's keep those sealed. It's probably not worth it to open. Let's take a look at this cube. See if there's anything good in here. These guilds packs could be pretty good. You can get some shock lands. Those things are going up and up and up. Wizards is not touching the shock land reprint for a while. It seems. All right, here's a deck. Oh, okay. Dual deck. It looks like DDP. Hmm. All right, Scoot Mob. If anybody knows what decks these are from, if they're valuable, let me know. If not, probably I'll just put them up on eBay, like in a bulk, slang them. Because they're probably worth more steel than open, so. Plus it's not a surprise if you already know which deck it is. Well, this one's sealed really good. Looking Jace right there. Looks like Tom Cruise. Alright, let's see what deck we got. Oh, okay. Interesting. Looks like this one is probably the... What's that? Asian Plains... Like a... Dynamic Blue something deck. Remember there was like a... Mu Yan Ling and Jiang Yan Gu, some kind of deck. I haven't played that thing. That looks like it's from there. I'm looking forward to opening this one. Dominaria. One of my favorite... That's, okay, I'm getting the knife. Forget that. It's one of my favorite sets to open. We opened up a ton on this channel. Lots of booster boxes. Great cards, great art, great playability. Iconic. Let's see what deck is in here. Okay, this one looks different. Aether Revolt. All right, Merchant's Dock Hand. Maybe there's something good in there. OK, 
Okay, this one's gonna be Scoot Mob. Okay, looks like we got repeat already. And the last small one. Where's the knife? Where did I put you? I already lost the knife. Gotta be kidding me. Come on now. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Much easier. And a stride. Okay. Okay, looks like we got a different deck. Here we go. Kaladesh. Fateful Showdown. I don't know what that's from. Maybe a Planeswalker deck? Oh, excuse me. Let me turn off the phone here. Alright. Let's get that Lathis Dragon Queen out of there. Saving these things. This thing's going to be worth a lot one day. Boom, there we go. There's people out there, they're hoarding them. There's like... Someone out there that we know, someone to this channel, Insider Info, got like 3,000 Lapis Queens out there. Let's see what decks we got here. We got, whoa, this is Wrinkle to Heck. Huh. Horror. Ooh, okay, this one looks cool. BFZ Gift Box. Oh, man. What else do you get me? DTK Spider Silk Net. Is this a land pack? Yeah. That's a land pack right there. It's kind of old school. Oh, this one looks cool. Another DTK intro pack. All right, it's got foil. This one's BFZ intro pack. Hmm. I'm really curious where these are from before my time. So if anybody knows, please let me know. This is curious. If there's any value, let me know too. I don't want to sell these on eBay. Two yellow, well, you know, someone get fair value for them. Dragon Queen. All right, let's do it. We got Core 2019 booster packs. We got Ixalan, we got Rivals of Ixalan. Innistrad. Ours, maybe we can get a lottery card. One Dominaria, all right, I'll save that for last. Let's do Core 2019. Haven't done that in a long time. Got three booster packs. Cool. Got the really natty cardstock. Man, this haven't seen these in a long time. Looks like brand new. We started this channel with Core 2019, actually. Oh, Johnny! Whoa, and a foil. Crazy, back when foils were really hard to get. I think the Johnny is one of the top cards in this. Look at that. Nice. Packed fresh, a Johnny. Sweet. Good times. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe a Bolas? Foil Bolas? That will be crazy. Sun Cleanser. Oh, and another foil? Diagraph Ghoul. That's actually pretty hard to do back then. Get like uh, foils back to back like that. Revitalize. Okay. Got some uh, curvature on the cards there. Rise from the grave. Alpine Moon and no foil on this one. Alpine Moon's not bad. Not really worth much, but. Let's see, let's do some mix along. Cool. I wonder what's the top card. Haven't done my research before this video. Heartless. Primal Amulet. Okay. I don't think that's a good card. You never know. Maybe I'm wrong. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I just opened up booster packs. Just for the heck of it. Uncommon, we got Rigging Runner, Armasaur, Lightning Strike, and Axe, oh, cool, Mythic. 
Axis of Mortality. Six mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may have two target players exchange life totals. Hmm, interesting. Hold again, Mythic. Got some rivals of Ixal on here. Let's do those. The dinosaurs. I know there's some good cards in here. Got the Raptor, Recollection, Chukacabra, and oh, World Shaper. That was a good one. 4433. That was a classic card. I think it'll hold value. Haven't seen a reprint of that in a while. Kind of interesting the direction they're going in. They're reprinting like the most recent sets. You don't see them reprinting a lot of older stuff. So it's like a. They're kind of redoing the format, kind of balancing it out. I find that kind of interesting. Augur, shake the foundations. Chupacabra again. Oh, Dire Fleet Daredevil, Bulk Rare. Got a ton of those. All right, let's do Shadows. Shadows are an Innistrad. Haven't opened. We haven't even done a booster box of this on this channel before. We've done some loose packs here and there, but this is not very common for us. Rabbit Bite, got the Golem, Chaplain, Howl Pack Resurgence, and Declaration in Stone. Oh, cool. I like the artwork. Got the Sorn there in the back. Exile target creature, da da da, exile this way. And a gargoyle. Let's see, another shadows pack. Moonlight, howl pack, ghoul steed, and fevered visions. At the beginning of each player's end step, that player draws a card. If the player's opponent has four more, uh, two damage, eh. I don't see that being that good. Okay, let's do some guilds. And then we'll do the hours. See if we can get a lottery card, that'd be crazy. Guilds, maybe you can get a um, ass trophy. That's always a good one. Oh, love that artwork. Bam, let me fix your lock. Conclave Cavalier, Elemental, Creeping Chill, March of the Multitudes, Mythic, I remember this, I'll have to look that up later, see if you can um, still have some value or what, like what's good, I know Astrophy, I know Shocklands, but, oh my gosh, Double Mythic, what, that's insane, in two loose packs we get Double Mythic. Crazy, look at that. I can't believe it. Two loose packs, we got the same Mythic. Wow. Alright, last pack. If I get another March of the Multitudes, we're going to shut it down right now. That's just insane. Beacon Bolt, Swarm. Surveillance and Chamber Sentry. Okay. And here we go. Hours. Is there a lottery card in here? Can you feel it? Oh, that pack just fell apart. Alright. Open fire. Here we go, Q's Horde, Dreadland, ooh, that's cool, Samet the Tested, Planeswalker, Mythic, oh, no lottery card, hey, these are really good pulls, much better than our usual on this, opening these cubes. Here we go, Dominaria, this is it. Man, I missed this. Maybe we'll open a box of these in the future. There's a lot of good memories in the set. Chainer's Torment, Howling Golem, Sulphur Falls, and a Foil Mountain. Oh, I forgot. That's right. Sometimes it's mixed up like that. Sulphur Falls, this one was like one of the top lands in the set. I wonder how it's doing. 
Sweet. All right, our top card is gonna be the Lattice Queen. Woohoo! Thank you guys for watching. That was it, MTG Bros. We just did a bunch of cubes. Mr. Foil's coming up. He's gonna do a lot more cubes, and we'll see. You guys like them. We're gonna keep doing them. Thank you guys for watching. We are out.